Okay, this is an update on uh, my non-stop running devices I've got here on the windowsill after seven years. And um, the big news this year was this finally started to stop. And it started about uh, nine months ago, ten months ago. And it would stop, I'd start it up, it'd go for a while, and then stop, start it up, get it off. And this had not stopped in six years. It went around the clock, day and night, uh, all the seasons of the year. Got energy through a little solar panel and a couple of capacitors, transistor circuit, and it just ran and ran. Finally, this year, what happened was a little piece of lint got into the bottom bearing, which is sapphire and a steel needle, and got this to stop. And that's what finally caused this to stop running was a bearing issue at the very bottom. Cleaned it up, put it back together again. It's been running nonstop for a month. All the other stuff here, um, most of the issues were bearing. They were bearing issues, and finally I got the bearing issue solved, and uh, everything's kind of running like it should. Um, and what I wanted to know was what would cause these to stop, how could I fix it, make it run longer, and then um, go from there. Uh, this one here, this uh, blinker, this LED blinker, the uh, potentiometer went bad. It's a 1 meg potentiometer, and that went bad. Then I had to rebuild this battery. I rebuilt it three times over the seven years. And it's a stainless steel scrubbers in a um, Epsom salt and water electrolyte. It gets fed by a solar panel. There's a battery run one that I think it's, it goes about a year or so on the batteries there. But that's the update on, on these uh, non-stop running devices. And I wanted to see what failed and what could I do to fix them to make them go longer. And then we've got this thing going on here, that slider and I have been working on. It's a non-stop runner idea that has a self-start circuit. And we're using um, a clock pendulum type of circuit. And the latest thing I found was this one here. It was a single coil with a little chip in it. And one of the um, commenters found out that that little chip is labeled L1. It's not a transistor or MOSFET transistor or PNP or NPN. It's actually an integrated circuit that is um, an LED blinker. And so he back engineered it and found out that basically it's that circuit. And, and that's what I've got running here is a LED blinker circuit that's running this. And if it stops, it starts itself back up again. I've ordered the actual uh, component. Uh, not the small one, but the bigger one, to test. And then when I get that, I'll show uh, show some results on that. Now, here's the final thing that I always show every year. That uh, this is what I call the yearling. And this one here, finally this year, I got this to stop stopping. And I'm not really sure what I did. <laughs> but that was a real puzzle. I enjoy watching it when I'm sitting in the living room. And uh, for some reason this year, I finally got everything adjusted just right. And it's been running for, I don't know, six months now on that uh, AAA battery. So that's the latest on my knob stop running devices after seven years. Thanks for watching.